Hi! Today you will learn how to take the default static icons like this into animated icons like this in PowerPoint. You can make them as complicated as you want like this or like this. Can you see here this is a static icon and this looks so much more engaging and interesting. Even something like this can be converted into this kind of a beautiful animated icon. I'll show you how it is done. I'll take just the basic icons right from inside PowerPoint and I'll show you how to animate them. Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We help professionals like you create engaging presentations. First, let us start from the very basics. Here I am on a new slide. Let's start from scratch. I'm going to pick some very basic icons. Let us go to insert icons. I'm using Microsoft 365. So I have the option of picking up the icons right from inside. Let us take this simple icon. Now this looks nice, but let us say you want to make a video and you want some kind of a moving element present on the screen. Then it is a good idea to have it animated a little bit. So the audience's attention is constantly engaged. How can you animate this? Now just think about what is the natural way an alarm clock like this would move. I can see that it can move by a bit of teetering. So let me go to animations and add a simple teeter animation. So that is how it moves. Now if it moves once, then it is not really that exciting. So I need to make it keep moving continuously. So for that, let us go to animation pane and use effect options. And the option I'm going to use is repeat until end of slide and say, okay, it is way too slow. I can reduce the duration to around say 0.5 seconds or 0.25 seconds. Now let me go to slideshow and now on a click, you can see that a static icon now becomes a very attractive animated icon. Now let me delete this. Now let me go to insert icons and think about some other kind of an icon. Maybe I can use some heart and this is the heart icon. Now think about what kind of an animation would naturally suit a graphic like a heart. I can see that a heart pumps so I can make it grow and shrink and that can really make it quite interesting. Let me move this to one side so you can see the difference between this and the animated one. Let me select this, go to animations and this time I'm going to use grow shrink animation. Let me go here and this can be somewhere around say 0.25 again. Let me go to effect options and let me go to size and make this as say 110% because I don't really want it to be growing too much in size and then say auto reverse. So it grows and shrinks continuously. Let us go to timing and say until end of slide and say OK. Now watch how this static icon looks far more natural with this. Can you see this is how the heart beats and it's so beautifully shown in this animated icon. You can pick icon from any source you want. You can go to pixabay.com and search for a bell icon if you want. Let me select this, download it and you need to have some way of breaking this down into its individual elements and that is only possible when you have an SVG format downloaded. Let me remove this. Let me insert the picture of a bell. It is a little too big here. Let me keep it to one side. Let me make a duplicate and keep it to this side. And this time I'm going to change this into a shape. So convert to shape and then let us go to group and say ungroup. Now we have this and this. Now how does this move? It kind of teeters and this one moves from left to right. So that is what we are going to apply. So let us select this, go to animations and let us have this teetering like this. Yeah, that is beautiful. Now let us move this to the side and then let us go to motion path lines and let it move to the right. So that is how it goes. Now it has gone too far ahead. Let us hold the shift button and bring it back to a range which is more meaningful. So this is how it is. And this can happen point for 0.5 seconds duration. And even the previous one can happen for 0.5 seconds duration. And then let us have this auto reverse. So let us go here and go to effect options and use auto reverse option. So it goes and then comes back. And we need to have both of them happening till end of slide. So we are repeating it till end of slide. And the second one happens with previous. So let us go to slideshow. On a click, you can see that this is how a static bell icon looks far more interesting with animation. Let us remove this and try something different. Let us go to insert, go to icons and 
let us take this one because this is something that I see right on the default page. Let me go to insert. Now, what can we do to make this animated? Very simple. Let me press Ctrl D and keep it to the side so you can compare. Let me right click convert to shape and then let us ungroup these elements. Now I want to have this light glowing. So first I'm going to pick up these three elements and press Ctrl G to group it. And I'm going to have this with a shape animation and it goes out like this. Can you see it is this is the animation and it needs to happen for 0.25 seconds. And when it happens multiple times, like say when I go to timing and say until end of slide and say, OK, now can you see this is how the light glows. Now light needs to glow. So I need to add some kind of a red color here. So how can I do that? I can go to auto shapes gallery, pick up some something that is matching the shape of that light. So let us pick up trapezoid and then draw a small trapezoid like so and then give it a red color remove the outline and then place it right above here and do some small adjustments so the light is right inside and this one can be animated as well now what am i going to do here let us use a simple fade animation and have this for 0.25 seconds and this again happens till end of slide and it keeps repeating itself and it happens with previous and while this happens, I want this whole thing to be all grouped and then teetering. So it gives the feeling that it is going on the road, which has a lot of undulations. Let us go to teeter and let us have the same thing happening again. We are going to have this repeat until end of slide. And this happens with previous and it is going to happen with 0.5 seconds duration or it can be even one second because it is not going to have that kind of a bumpy experience otherwise the person inside might uh, not survive and let us add a road here and all these things are completely very natural things to imagine when you see a vehicle so now we have got this animated icon watch this this is the static one and this is our animated icon isn't that beautiful? Maybe I need to adjust the size of this a little bit because it's a little too big. And now this is a beautiful animated icon. So with a bit of imagination, you can add animation to pretty much anything that you see. Sometimes you can actually pick elements from two different icons and make them work. Let me delete this. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let us go to insert icons and uh, let us do something. We have done medical. Okay, we have done vehicle and uh, let us try and do something with tools and buildings let me take this one and you can see that this is a drilling equipment and it needs to show that it is drilling into something so i'm going to pick this one as well and say insert let us hold the shift button and increase the size let us keep this to one side and keep this to another side here i'm going to convert this into shape I, we don't really require this and just as we did to the previous one, we're going to have this as a group and then have it as a simple shape out animation for 0.25 seconds A 0.5 seconds could be a good enough thing. So 0.5 seconds and this one needs to go up and down. So how do we do that? Very simple. Let us go to animations and let us have a simple line animation, which is motion path animation. And by default, it goes down. Let us hold the shift button down and make the end point not so far away. Maybe I can just move this slightly down. That looks nice. Once again, as we did earlier, we're going to make a few changes. We are going to say auto reverse and then we are going to have this until end of slide repeat. And this needs to happen for 0.25 seconds. So that is the duration. And just as we did for the previous one, we are going to have this one also happening until end of slide so the repeat happens till end of slide we say with previous and then i can place this somewhere over here and now when i go to slideshow you can see this beautiful animation in motion so it doesn't really require you to have any great animation skills it just requires you to think a bit creatively and you can convert some very basic ordinary icons into some memorable icons by adding animation
and of course if you really want to have it saved as a gif animation you can do so as well you need to ensure that the size of the canvas is square which you can always do by going to design go to slide size go to custom slide size and have this in a square format how do you do that you go to custom and then define your size maybe around 10 centimeters as width and 10 centimeters as height and hit enter and you say maximize so now you have this square canvas i can select these elements and then place it over here and then i can go to file go to export and i can create an animated gif i can make the background transparent and say create gif i am going to call this as road digger whatever is the name for it let me keep this on the desktop and say save now let me insert that gif on my slide here you can see that this is a gif animation and it looks quite nice and i can reduce the size of it and can place it anywhere i want i can change the background to some other color and you can see that it is a transparent background one when you go to slideshow you can see this beautiful animated icon doing its job what i've given you is just a thought it is up to you to apply it in the way you want and create your own custom animated icons if you want to learn more such street smart tips and tricks of powerpoint then you can always refer to our ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program the link to this program is in the description box below the video it is an easy to follow comprehensive and creative powerpoint training program for professionals if you want to learn how to make your icons pop in powerpoint then i have already created this creative powerpoint idea tutorial I will leave a link to this useful tutorial right here on your screen. You can click on the link and watch that video next. If you want to sign up to our 25 creative PowerPoint ideas 5 day free email mini training then the link is shown here right on your screen. You can click on the link and join the course. I share 25 useful PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation. So sign up now and I'll see you inside the course.